Yo, good morning. Um, had a quick thought again. I don't even know if I'm visible. So yeah, there we go. Uh, had a quick thought. I was listening to a book called Letting Go. And there's this concept um, that is starting to make me understand a lot of people's actions, including my own. So when somebody says, hey, I cannot do this thing. If they say I cannot do this thing and it's physically possible, so it's not like teleporting from London to France or something like that, uh, London to Paris in like 10 seconds, so that, like if it's something that's physically possible, the correct phrase is not I can't do it, it's I won't do it. There are other things that are taking priority over what you're asking me. That is the correct way to view it in my opinion now and I'm realizing once you start seeing things like that so you see that it's more if you don't want to do something or if you say you can't do something sorry then you don't want to do that thing or you don't want to do it bad enough to sacrifice what's required to do it uh, so anyone that says I can't it's probably I won't. Anybody that uh, realizes this, I think, can really think through the processes as to why they won't do a thing. And then once they figure those out, why, once they figure out why they won't do something, it might it might help move them in a direction where either they want to do it or they realize, I don't know, they can formulate a reason why it's not worth it for them, which will help other people understand why they won't do it. And also, it might help with convincing people in the future, because if I can anticipate that somebody is saying, you know, I won't because, you know, I, I won't, not because I can't, like, it's possible. I can try and anticipate why they won't, and maybe give them some reassurances to the uh, barriers or try and break down those barriers that lead them to say I won't. Well, that was a bunch of rambling shit, wasn't it? Um, but it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed.